Hi, it's Adam Waitman from Ozzy Osbourne's band and Headspace, and you're watching ESP TV. My, my ESP history goes back to the 80s, of uh, the early days of Anthrax. Yeah, I could say heyday of, of Anthrax, where we're selling you know, gold records, all that stuff, and uh, Among the Living, I have to go back to Among the Living. Uh, that bass became the sound of, of me on, on, uh, on the Among the Living and all the records after that. Well, the next three records specifically, uh, it had a, a cut-through sound that that really worked for Anthrax, where Scott's guitar was so heavy and Charlie's drums were so heavy, I had a hard time cutting through. And I found with that bass, uh, <clears throat> aside from the amp I was, made, I was using, it was the bass that actually had the cutting edge that I needed. And it was so, so comfortable to play. It just had a vibe, it, it was like, a, I call it a butter neck. And uh, it, just, it just made it easy to do stupid things on bass. It really did, it made it easy. I found that I could probably do this if I tried it. And it like, like this neck I had was unlike any, any other neck. And it, so I put this bass in storage and just to forward this, I put it in storage and you know, it's been in my storage for how many years already. Uh, and then I started to talk with some of the guys at ESP again about working with them. And I pulled this bass out just for, you know, just to recollect my, my uh, history with them. And man, it had to be done. I just handed them my bass. I said, can you make me this bass? Literally, I, I said, can you make me this bass? And uh, what I'm holding here is the LTD version of the bass. This is the less expensive um, of the basses, but this is a quality bass. Like I've used this bass uh, on Anthrax shows, with, with Anthrax shows right now, and it's still quality. There's a, there's a Frank Bellow signature ESP version, which is, just try it. Just go to the store and try it, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. I'm just so proud of it that they actually did it the right way. They made it exactly the way it should have been. It sounds great, it plays great, and uh, I, we're trying to keep the prices down as much as we could because I want players, to, I want to be able to hand this to you and say, this is a good bass, you know, for a decent price, you can actually play this thing and afford it. And so the LTD version is available. The signature model, for when you take this step up, it's all good, but I promise you, it is a good quality. That's, that's what's really important to me. Jose turned me uh, in ESP, turned me on to these EMG X's, which are more like a passive pickup. They're you know they're active pickups, but they sound more like a passive, which I kind of like. So they're like a good mix in between. So for this music, it cuts right between. That's why I think these basses, man, are going to make a, a big difference when people try them. When you play this kind of music, I think it's really, really it's like a cut through vibe that you, you can get through the guitars and you can get through the the, the kick drum, and it really won't. You're not going to hear that. You're going to you're going to hear your sound, and that's what I I really wanted to, to achieve, and I think we achieved that with this. Really, I'm lucky, man. I'm really lucky with, with, with what I'm using. I have ESP bases, but I also have the Harky rig going. I got the LH1000, and this is just my rig that people ask me about what I'm using and stuff. The LH1000, the Harkies, the 8x10. Uh, I have a pretty lethal combination right now what's going on, so I, I, I don't bitch about anything. I just do my sound check now, dude. I go up there, I know, I know the settings, it's always set, you know, the way I like it. I go up, I know I have complete confidence in my playing, because it's nothing's gonna break down on me, because everything I have is, is quality. I, that's the one thing, man, you make sure the quality of your company. If you're gonna pick a company, make sure the quality's there. And then, this isn't a lie to people out there, this is true, man. I, I've been around for a few years, obviously, fucking grace. But um, the truth of the matter is, you, you pick, you pick the quality, man. It's quality companies. ESP. I'm friends with these guys forever. Jose, the, you know, I've been since the early days before. When I first started playing bass, the vice president Jose and Matt, president, had been around with me since the '80s. 
So I know these guys, I trust these guys, you know, um, with, with when I'm playing. And I, and I know they would never try to sell me a bill of goods. So we, we're all really on the same wavelength wave right now. So I'm really excited about the future with the SP. We have a long way to go.